Good afternoon. Thank you all for coming. My name is Greg Connor. I'm an assistant district attorney here in Norfolk County. With me, I have Chief Brian from the Police Department. I also have Lieutenant Antiliano from Massachusetts State Police and Lieutenant Colonel uh, Chris Mason from Massachusetts State Police. I want to express right now that this case is in its absolute infancy and that right now we are still unveiling details as it, in its unfolding. But the allegations are that at 7.32 a.m. this morning, the Weymouth Police Department received a call concerning an erratic driver in the area of South Shore Hospital. There was then a single car accident in this area, and the operator was observed leaving the car on foot. When the police department responded and began to lurk, look for this person, the suspect in the local area, one of those officers was Officer Michael Chest, C H E S N N. Officer Chesney responded to Burton Terrace in Weymouth Police, in Weymouth Police, in the, in his Weymouth Police Cruiser. This is nearby, and he saw the suspect actively vandalizing a home. He exited his vehicle, he drew his firearm and commanded this man to stop. The suspect was eventually identified as Emmanuel Lopes. Lopes then attacked Officer Chesna, it is believed, with a large stone, striking him in the head, and Officer Chesna fell to the ground. Lopes then retrieved Officer Chesney's firearm and discharged it several times in his head and chest. Additional officers from the Weymouth Police Department responded and were able to return fire at this time. Mr. Lopes is believed to have been hit once in, his, in one of his legs, in the lower part beneath one of his knees. It was at this point in time a foot chase began in the area of Burton Terrace, attempting to try and apprehend Mr. Lopes. Mr. Lopes maintained control of Officer Chesney's firearm, and during this foot chase through the yards of Burton Terrace, it is believed that Mr. Lopes discharged Officer Chesney's firearm an additional three times, striking a local resident in her home. These wounds fatal to her. We have not finished performing our next of kin notification, and as a result, her identity will not be revealed at this time. It will be revealed later on through normal course. Mr. Lopes was soon then apprehended during this foot chase after discharging Officer Chesney's firearm by the Weymouth Police Department, and he was transported to South Shore Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. He maintains, he is maintained in police custody at this point in time. There will be an arraignment tomorrow for Mr. Lopes for two counts of homicide. It is unknown at this time if that arraignment will occur in a hospital or if it will occur in a courthouse. You will be notified through normal channels. It's also at this point in time that the District Attorney's Office, District Attorney Michael Morrissey, and our entire office extends our sympathies to both the victims in this case. It is also at this point in time I'd ask Chief Grimes to inform you of the type of person that Officer Chesney was and the value he was in this department. Chief. Thank you. Michael C. Chesna was a police officer for the town of Weymouth. He's 42 years old. He's a family man who leaves a wife and two young children, ages four and nine. Chesney has been uh, an Army veteran. In fact, I was speaking with his mom this morning, and she told me that he joined the military to help uh, open the doors for him to get on this job. He was successful with that. I hired Mike Chesna six years ago tomorrow. Tomorrow will be his anniversary date for the police department in six years. He was assigned to the midnight day shift. Mike worked uh, assigned to the traffic division. Uh, he was just uh, a great family man. He was a great officer. I would see him in the morning coming in from the street. He was always had a kind word and, and, a, and a good attitude. He was one of those people that truly sought this job, was fortunate enough to get it, and very much appreciated it. And we very much appreciated his service to the Weymouth Police Department. Uh, our concern 
concerns right now uh, with Mike's family, as well as my Weymouth Police Department family going forward. Thank you, Chief.